Well, the news coming out of Afghanistan and all that still is going to haunt the Biden administration for a while. And here we have an article here. The father of a Marine killed in the Kabul attack says President bristled when he told them when he told the president to learn the victim's stories. Uh, this one's by Tom Porter, sitting in the Yahoo News. I'm Grid7, and let's get on into this article. The father of a U.S. Marine who was killed in the attack last week at the airport of Kabul, Afghanistan, said he challenged President Joe Biden to learn the stories of the victims at a ceremony where the remains of service members were returned to the U.S. Mark Schmidt's son, 20-year-old Lance Corporal Jared Smith, was one of 13 U.S. service members helping to evacuate U.S. citizens and Afghans killed on, Afga- on August 27th in what the Pentagon has said was a suicide bombing by an ISIS affiliate. The attack killed at least 169 Afghans and 13 U.S. service members. On Sunday, the remains of the service members were returned to the U.S. in a ceremony at Dover Air Force Base in Delamere, Delaware, which Biden attended. This is also the event where if you've been paying attention to any news, videos, the one where Biden checked his watch. That's right, he checked his watch. Uh, Afterwards, Biden met with the grieving families in public, including Schmitz. Uh, He told the Washington Post that he initially decided he didn't want to talk to Biden, whose handling of the Afghan withdrawal he has blamed for his son's death, but then changed his mind. Schmidt said Biden spoke of losing his own son, uh, Biden, an Iraq veteran, to cancer six years ago. But Schmitz said that he wanted to talk about Gerard instead, and that he and his wife took out a photo of their son to show the president. I said, don't you ever forget that name, don't you ever forget that face, and don't you ever forget the names of the other twelve, and take some time to learn their stories. According to Schmitz, the president didn't like that and he bristled, replying, I do know their stories. Now that's not something you really want to say. Now, if he meant to say something, he definitely didn't do it in the right way. Now, if, if he had learned the stories already, he, that was not the way to, to say that, especially to a grieving family. Schmitz also relayed details of the encounter with Biden in an interview with Fox News' Sean Handy on Monday night. It didn't go well. He talked a bit more about his own son than he did my son, and that didn't sit well with me. I will have the problem. I don't understand why Biden talks so much about his own son. I mean, it just... I can see where it didn't sit well. You, you sit there... And I've, I've seen grieving people, and sometimes that they don't want to talk about the person. The, I, 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 I've seen that one. They, they just don't want to talk about it. And then other times, they do want to talk about it. You go by what the grieving person wants. You, 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 uh, you, you, you listen to their body language, what they're saying. And Biden, apparently, I'm not sure he can do that anymore either. Uh, Biden has said his personal familiarity with tragedy, having lost his first wife and daughter in a car crash in 72 and his adult son to cancer decades later, allows him to understand the pain of those grieving the loss of loved ones from the COVID-19 pandemic or in a war. Uh, He didn't quite show it here, did he? Uh, But he's received widespread criticism for his handling of the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, which allowed the Taliban to quickly retake power. Just because you know the pain and grieving of all that doesn't mean you're going to be a good leader. Thousands of people clamored to escape the country on flights from Kabul, where the U.S. was left to rely largely on a security perimeter set up around the airport by the Taliban to screen against terrorist attacks. Think about that one. Security provided by the Taliban against terrorist attacks. Yeah, that's like having the wolves watch the chicken coop. Sorry. 
In an interview with the Daily Beast last week, Steve Nikoi, the father of a U.S. Marine who was also killed in last week's attack, expressed anger at Biden. They sent my son over as a paper pusher and then had the Taliban outside providing security. I blame my own military leaders. That's one thing. Yes, and that starts at the top with the Commander-in-Chief, Biden. He also said Biden turned his back on him. That's it. And this is one of those things for decades. You you can probably go back to Vietnam and you can see where the left has more and more disliked, almost hate the military. And the Democratic leaders lately, no, uh, Clinton, Obama, now Biden, you, you, you see a growing sense of th- that they just don't care about the military. Now, that's my take on it. What do you think? Agree, disagree, leave a like, comment. And uh, I'm on YouTube. Come on over to Rumble. It's much nicer over there. And I'll see you next video.